Hey everybody, it's Amy from Amy Sews and Amy Bachman Sewing Quilt. How is everybody tonight? Wait for everybody to jump on. We're doing something totally different. Stuff we normally don't do. We're having a little bit of uh, fun tonight. Um, it has really not a whole lot of things I have to do with the subscription boxes or the store, but it's just going to be fun, right? So... Um, thank you all for popping in. So this whole thing came about because, as you can see over my shoulder, we do a lot of sewing, quilting, serging, scanning, cutting. Hey, Juju. Um, hey, Bonnie. And so sometimes you just feel like doing something different, right? So I grew up my whole life crafting. And I just, I, my friends and my, my business group um, are amazing decoupagers, napkin art people. And uh, this is a little homage to my friends who, after I saw the things they did, I'm like, dang it, I'm going to go buy me a gallon of Mod Podge and see what happens. <laughs> so that's kind of how this kind of about. So, um, you know, I learned from my friends at Miss Tracy Creates and that the DIY um, crafter in Canada. So this is kind of just a fun thing. Some of you order kits. If you don't have a kit, you can order a kit. Um, it's no big deal. It's just something kind of fun to do. All right, say hello, everybody. Tell me where you're from. And it's okay to, to um, send the video out to the universe and uh, show your friends what we're doing. All right, so what we are doing is um, we are, oops, hang on. We are working on this little art canvas, right? So we took regular art canvas, nothing's fancy couple napkins, couple napkins, and we created this two-sided little stand, right? It stands up. So those of you who like to decorate with the tiered trays or you want to put it on a little shelf, it makes a perfect little hostess gift because it's inexpensive and it's something fun to do. Hi, Miss Vicky. All right, so let's go. So it's very simple. You're going to use, I just used regular Mod Podge, right? Nothing or shattering just regular okay foam brush normal dollar store stuff and the art canvas so i'm just gonna put a light coat on here i love the smell of this stuff and i don't know why it's kind of it smells, but it's okay. I'm not worried about getting it on the sides because we are going to be adding some ribbon, right? So your napkins, your napkins come with, um, napkins are two ply or three ply or, don't know, not my face, sorry. Um, so, you have to separate these just like, you know, toilet paper comes in plies and um, paper towels. And now you've all experienced one ply toilet paper at one time. In your life. <laughs> and it's not as pleasant as we'd like it to be. So you're just going to separate these guys. I have one already separated. Let's put my glasses on. Unfortunately, there's probably a better way than just kind of putting, you know, wetting your fingers, but this takes half the battles getting this done. Anyhow, you're going to separate the napkin so the white piece on the back is gone. Oh, hi, Reen. Um, it is just a napkin, right? So you have two napkins. If you got the kit, this is what the kit looked like. You've got your two napkins, your ribbon, your art canvas, and um, you got a download for the embroidery files. So our napkins, you, you can get four or six out of one napkin. So you can pick and choose the napkins you want to use. I'm going to be doing the pumpkin one. All right, so I'm just going to lay this down on top. Now, it's a little bigger than the art canvas. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get that top pumpkin in just right now. When you mix 
water, and napkins, what do you think happens? It gets very goopy, doesn't it? Let's see if I can just make this. I'm struggling here, as usual. I know you don't want to see me. You want to see. All right, we got to go back to here if you want to hear me. Here we go. So the little bit of plastic that came off of your canvas when you unwrapped it, you can use that to kind of gently push the napkin down because what happens is it will tear. I mean, as soon as it gets wet, it's going to tear. Is the sound back? Should be back. Are we good? Can you guys hear me now? Okay, good. Thanks, Ed. Ed's at home trying to get stuff done. So that's done. And then what I like to do is I like to dry it just a little bit. And I am like a fish out of water here because I am not sewing, <laughs> doing crafts. And I love to do crafts, but not live. So I'm just going to use my heat gun and uh, or a hair dryer and try to get some of the tackiness off of here. And again, don't worry about all this excess. We're going to get rid of that. I am so impatient. If you guys don't know that about me, I am so impatient. So now you can just kind of pull down a little bit. And remember, we're going to cover this edge with ribbon. Right? And if it's wet, it's going to tear. So you can even wait till the whole thing is dry to get rid of that. So you're going to be making two sides. You're going to be making one that says thankful if you want to, right? And I think this would be a great thing to reproduce for... Um, Embroidery and word art, you know, where we have those collages of words, it would be very easy to, um, to duplicate. All right, so this one is nice and dry, so you can see how that pulls away. Another one of the things that um, Miss Tracy does when she does her napkin, she has a little um, sanding block. She just runs it over the edge and it just trims it right off, nice and easy. So you might want to see where we're going here. And um, I'll turn my glue gun on. I know a girl shouldn't flex. But look at that glue gun. <laughs> when you ask my son the, for a tool, you get a tool. You just don't get a glue gun. This was my Christmas present last year. And I'm like, thing scares me. <laughs> but it's, it works great. So what can I say? All right. So once it dries, and this one's not quite dry, dry enough, I'm going to switch to this one that is dry. And then we're going to put another coat on it just because... You want to seal it nice. If you were going to put these out on your porch, you might want to use a, a spray a, acrylic sealer, you know, when it's all done. You do not have to put gobs and gobs on your artboards. You just need enough to coat them. Yeah. So me crafting is like watching paint dry. <laughs> there's no embroidery machine moving. There's no serger moving. There's no scanning cup moving. There's nothing. Although the scanning cup box, we just opened it up for new members. So if you think you might want to join, now's your month because the October project is stunning. 
we're going to do every other month is going to be some sort of fabric project. And uh, we are doing the art of cartonage in October and it is so much fun. So you can see that's pretty milky, right? It dries very clear. And I will tell you, the more you fuss with it, the more chance you have to tear it. And trust me, I learned the hard way because I'm impatient, right? So this is what it looks like after the second coat. See how clean and shiny that is? That's so pretty. I know. So while this is drying a little bit, let's talk about doing the freestanding embroidery to add to your details. So one of the things that we have here is um, wash away film. Okay. This is, um, this is there. I will tell you, there's all kinds of names for them depending on your brand. Um, this is a badge master, right? Um, brand Dime has badge master. OESD has a super film. Um, either way, it's really good. If you have the original, like, sulky wash away and it's real thin, you can double up your layers. But what I did, now I, went, I did overkill. I filled my hoop, so I only had to do this once. But I used three different colors because of the three different colors in the pumpkins, Okay. And then once you stitch these, I just had white bobbin thread in. If you want to match your bobbin thread, that's fine. But I was thinking these are going to be glued on. You're only going to need one side. So I really did go to that extra effort. So once you have your embroidery is done, and again, you're going to hoop this tight and just turn it loose. And you don't care that this wrinkles because you are going to rinse everything out. I guess I should have brought a bowl over to rinse things out. But get rid of all the excess, right? You don't want to throw this whole thing and wash it. It'll just turn to a, a ball of snot. And I hate that reference, but that's exactly what it is. So I fill a bowl with warm water. I put a little bit of Dawn dishwash or a little bit of fabric softener in there and let it soak. And it helps dissolve. As you can see... Like this is open. These are like freestanding lace-ish um, leaves. But a little warm water, a little bit of Dawn, or a little bit of fabric softener, and just kind of swish them around, and they'll just fall out. I didn't rinse them 100% because I wanted, I wanted them to have a little bit of stiffness, right? I wanted them to see um, a little bit so they would hold, hold their shape. Okay, so you can see. Now you can do them all one color, you can do them whatever. But I was looking for another project to do with the embroidery just to kind of have um, some fun, right? Okay, so our two boards that are done. That's what the other one. So the other one is still really wet. So we may put two of the same together. start to dry in here. Now, if you're using a heat gun, if you get too close, it's going to burn or bubble, right? So you want to make sure you are not, keep that heat gun moving or you're going to be in trouble. And again, I am super impatient, so we're going to just set this aside and we're going to make a double pumpkin. <laughs> so it's the same on both sides. Um, so Nancy said, asked the question, what is cartonage? Well, if you are an Egyptian mummy, it's the art of wrapping. If you are English, it's the art of box making or covering boxes. So we are so excited. You want to see a sneak peek? Should I do that? Should I put a sneak peek? Let me grab it. I shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it. Because those of you who want to join um, the Scan and Cut box, now's your time. And uh, you ready? Well, let me let me make it pretty. Hold on. Let me make it right so you can get the full effect. So you're going to be we're going to be cutting fabric. We're going to be cutting chipboard, and we're going to be cutting vinyl. So let's take a look at this. 
get my little cord out of the way. You're going to untie the bow. You're going to open it up and a beautiful box appears. So not only are you going to be cutting chipboard, you're going to be cutting fabric and you are going to be cutting heat transfer glitter vinyl. Also, we're including embroidery designs that you can embroider your fabric before you make your box. So that is a lovely way to present a gift card. If Ed's listening, so let's say diamond bracelet. You can even borrow my box <laughs> if he wants to. Ed, if you're listening, uh, we could go fill the box. <laughs> so that's the art of cartonage. And um, I know a lot of you get the subscription boxes. Look at me. I'm... I am bouncing up and down like a rabbit today. But are you ready? Look. So you've gotten these boxes in the mail. Hundreds of them, thousands of them. We actually covered this box. Look, so the box, your goodies come in, is now covered, covered in this beautiful fabric. And now you can turn them into nice trinket boxes that hold photos. So you can get a second life out of them, which is wonderful okay so while these guys set up for a second i want to show you something else i did with fabric and the mod podge so i used fabric mod podge they make all kinds i call it mod podge but it's mod podge i know i'm doing this so wrong we have these stunning panels that came in so these are winter animals right we have an owl, we have a snow leopard. Look at the bunny. We've got foxes. These are so pretty. And then we have this border print that's on the side. I put a link in if you wanna order the fabric. So I went to Michael's and I got an art board, which is just canvas, but it's thin. It's not on stretchers like that. So it's just thin, 10 inches, and it fit the animals perfectly. And I used that border print to make the hanger. And I just Mod Podged it on. The artboard. And then I went to the floral department and I got a little fancy thing. And put it on there. How cute is that? The border fit perfect. Um, I sprayed it with a little bit of acrylic sealer. It's perfect to hang on your door, to add to a wreath. Um, it's just prop it up on an easel. I just thought it was the fabric was so pretty. So anyhow, that's the other thing we've been going on. All right, now let's get to sort of working on our little project here. Now, this one has two coats. This only has one. So the two coat is a little shinier, and that's what I highly recommend. Um, Nancy asked, do I have instructions for that? Nancy, it's pretty much what we're doing here. You're going to cut it, lay it on the artboard. I wrap the raw edges to the back, and I put a piece of felt on the back. That's it. It's the same process. Wet it, stick the fabric, coat it, hang it up. The, um, I just hot glued the strap on though. That's the only thing that I did a little different. All right, so once you get your two pieces done, we are going to glue them together. I'm gonna use the hottest, most powerful glue gun on the planet. You know how bad a regular glue gun burns? Oh, this one leaves a, takes skin with it. So I'm gonna push them together, make sure they're even. Just hold it for a second. All 
Oh, Janet, I will email you the embroidery design tonight. If you bought the kit in the store and didn't get your design, I'll, I'll email those tonight. Um, they're going to come in DST format, which is for everybody, including Janome. Everybody was worried about that. Okay, so now that they are attached, we're going to be adding our ribbon. Okay, this is um, one inch ribbon, which happens to be the perfect width for two canvases. Now I have seen um, doing this on any fabric on art canvas, stretch a beautiful panel on art canvas and hang it on your wall. Nobody's not gonna know that's not a painting. And there's so many gorgeous digitally printed canvases out there. My heavens, we are just so excited. All right, so now we're gonna, wherever you want your bow, I happen to be an off-center bow person. That's kind of just my thing. Wherever you want your bow, you're going to start your ribbon there. If it is a middle bow, start your ribbon in the middle. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of glue. And you don't need a ton of glue for the ribbon. And just do a little bit at a time. This is so much fun crafting. So when I was getting ready for this today and a customer came in and she said, oh, are you going to be carrying the, the supplies and the ribbon and everything? Um, I thought Zach was going to have a stroke right then and there. <laughs> if you've been in our retail store, it is really full. And so there's no room to add this. Plus, you guys can get this stuff now at the dollar store. I mean, it's everywhere. You can order kits from the Crafty DIYer or Miss Tracy. These guys live and breathe and uh, decoupage, right? Also today when I was kind of getting ready, I um, did a bonus video for my scan and cut people on doing direct cut, how to make stickers and bookmarks. It was kind of fun. I'm enjoying the new print mode of printer from Brother. It's And I know it's expensive. It's $999, but it prints beautifully. Um, sticker paper, fabric, um, you name it. All right, so now I'm just going to finish this right here. And if you're afraid of getting burnt, use a toothpick or use something to... So now we have ribbon all the way around. I love how this plaid ribbon is perfect, perfect for this. Not that this has anything to do with tonight, but I want to show you. This is the direct cut that I did for the video. So it cut out the bookmarks. It cut out all the little tiny pieces to decorate with. Absolutely uh, perfectly, which I love. And the stickers, doggone it, I am in love with doing stickers. So these, I just put these together in a graphics program and um, that one is in cut. Look, half cut, make your own stickers for your Christmas packages, your envelopes. Woo! We're just having way too much fun here. Way too much fun here. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, it's not up yet, Elaine. I will let you know um, um, when, when we put it up, right? So, yes, this is wired ribbon just because it's what they had. Um, grow grain ribbon would be fine. Any kind of ribbon you want to use uh, would work. All right, now to make your bow. This is... Every holiday, I get asked, a thousand people ask me how to make a bow. So we're just going to, let me cut this end here. Because I'm using my embroidery snips and a wired ribbon. I wonder why everything's so crappy. All right, so I just cut a little piece. And you're going to just crisscross it like you make a, um, a tribute ribbon. 
Okay, I'm going to take it and I'm going to scrunch it. And just pinch it just like that. And I'm going to take a two or three inch piece, wrap it around to the back, just tie a little knot. This is like a little cheater bow. Maybe closer to Christmas, I'll do my big floral bows. And you just kind of manipulate it. And now you just have an easy package bow. And then you can trim this piece off, but this is the piece you're going to be gluing with. And I don't mind a wire tail. If I have an extra tail, I don't mind three tails at all. And I'm just going to attach it kind of kind of forward, right? Not exactly on the top, maybe a little more to the front. Let that sit for a second. And you want to take these and trim them kind of at an angle. I don't like to do V's and wired ribbon because it exposes that secondary wire, that extra wire in there. Let's go trim that come back. process I've lost all my embroideries um, so anyhow I like to tuck them right underneath there again I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on it my pile of embroideries have disappeared I think they fell under my cabinet but you just want to glue this very tip right here. So they curl up and they're dimensional. And add as many of those as you like. Oh, look, I'm so dish. I thought it was so prepared. Doggone it. Found a thread. Here we go. Yeah, how cool is that? It's so easy, right? It's like perfect. And everybody's doing those tiered trays, right? So everybody's doing little tiered trays and they're decorating. Oh, and just put a link in. If you do want to order a kit, and then if you order the kit online, automatically you'll get the download will be emailed to you and the designs will be emailed to you. So that's the only way to get the designs and things if you do the kit. Um, so we've had a bunch of kits go out. So in the kit, you get... Two napkins, which is technically six pieces, um, a yard and a half of ribbon, your artboards, and your designs. So that's where that is. Oh, Barbara, I'd love to come out to dinner with you because I'm going home and I have no idea what I'm eating. <laughs> I have not a clue, but I'm going to eat when I get home. So again, this is the other one. Now, my ribbon was real wide with my first test sample and I just fold it in half. There's no reason why you can't use strips of fabric and tie a fabric bow, just leave it rustic, right? So it's whatever makes you happy is what makes me happy. So if you want the animal panel, I think I put the link in there. It's just go to amybachman.com, notions, there's a little white house, Lori stuck it in there so it's easy to find um, for everybody. So let's see, anybody have any questions? I'm looking through the comments here. All right. Well, don't forget to tell your friends and family that the scan and cut box is open and we're doing, Jim did a magnificent job designing that box. I will tell you that's super, super duper. Well, that is as easy as it gets. I just want to do something different with embroidery, with 
I don't know. I just felt like I needed a creative outlet and I just thought I would share it with you guys. So um, everybody enjoy. Does anybody have any other questions? No, we're good. It's easy. And the napkins look amazing. Like who would have thought? That's a napkin. It looks like you painted it. I know. All right, everybody. Time for dinner. So we will see you um, shortly. I'll get that scan and cut video posted for everybody. I have to edit that. Edit a thank you. I know sometimes we need a break from our sewing machine. I, I agree, girl. Oh, a little bit of news before y'all go. The scan and cut cruise in January we know is sold out, right? In May, there's two cruises back to back. One is going to be designs by Juju and we're embroidering. We're embroidering. I think the second cruise is going to be surging. And then I am jumping way out of line here. But in July, we just secured Alaska. Are you ready? With rain, Caesar vinyl, and your scan and cut, scan and cut, and embroidery. Embroidery Garden is going to be hanging out with us in July. No details, no nothing. Cross our fingers. It all stays that way because I am so excited about that. Okay, everybody. So hang in there. Have a great evening because the more you know, the more you sell. <laughs>